Hi there. Welcome to the Kino Quick Start Guide. This is a short guide we made and designed specifically so you can get started taking great video today with no prior experience in filmmaking necessary. To get started, I'll explore the user interface of the app and then I'll go over all of its best features for filmmaking. Now, you might have a question right from the get-go and that is why would you use Kino? Well, myself, I can use it for big productions like this, but I also use it if I just wanna get extra nice video. I can dial in the settings just right or get beautiful color and cinematic motion without any effort. Okay, let's get started. First off, let's open the app. After it's been shipped to you via your local app store, you're gonna to have to unbox it first, like a proper camera. We welcome you with some basic instructions and features. I'll get into some of these later. After that, you can choose your expertise level. Don't worry too much about this right now as you can change all these settings later if you've changed your mind. Let's go with starter for now. If you do pick advanced here, you just get to select a few preferences right off the bat. You can always change those later in settings. And just like that, we're in the app. Let's go over the Kino interface. At first glance, this may look a lot more complicated than the camera app. So let's remove some parts you might be unfamiliar with. All right, that's better. Here's your choice of lenses, the record button, and the last taken video in the corner here will take you to your last shot video. Now, by default, Kino will save your videos to the photos library, just like the regular camera. But you can also save to a folder in files, and you can change this in the settings at any time. Even if you are saving your videos to files, you can still browse videos saved in your photos library. Let's add a few more of Kino's features here. Since Kino only takes video, we can show a few bits of important information for video recording. On the left, here's our time remaining, Kino's estimate on how many minutes you can record with the current settings before you run out of space. We'll communicate the time remaining with a bit more urgency as it gets closer to zero. Right below that is the volume readout. The volume readout shows you the current audio levels. And when you connect a microphone, Kino will, of course, let you know that too. Over here on the other side of the interface, let's introduce one of Kino's coolest features, grades. Kino comes with lots of great color grades that let you get beautiful looking video right out of the box. Tapping this button will let you access the grade picker, letting you pick the perfect look for the moment. By default, we take it a step further. Not only do you have great presets, but there's no need to edit your video later thanks to something we're calling Instant Grade. Instant Grade applies the preset as you record, so your final video looks just like you shot it. Now, this is great on any iPhone, but it's especially great on the iPhone 15 Pro, which has Apple Log. Usually Apple Log means large video files and complicated editing afterwards, but with Kino and Instant Grade, you can shoot right into a beautiful preset and get the video just the way you saw it. All that cinematic color in just a tap. If you want to edit the video later though, you can toggle Instant Grade right here and still use the preset to preview the shot without it applying. You can then apply it in Kino later or edit your video in any way you'd like. Okay, that's for the main interface. I've got my color dialed in, now let's work a little bit on exposure. Kino has a few ways to do this. I'm in auto mode right now. That means fully automatic. If you're feeling very professional, you can go full manual and dial things in with things like ISO and shutter speed or angle. In auto mode, I can swipe down on the viewfinder to change exposure. I can quickly get my video a bit brighter or darker by swiping left or right. I can long press the exposure label here to reset it back to zero. I can also check if my exposure is locked. If this little lock here shows locked in yellow, my exposure won't change once I start recording. That's really nice when lighting is consistent and I don't want it to change. Now, we do something clever in automatic mode, though, that you might not even notice, except that your video just kind of looks nicer. We're calling that auto motion. Now, without turning into a long video explaining exactly how shutter speed works and the entire history of filmmaking, let's just look at a frame I took out of a great movie from Hollywood and then a frame from a video from my iPhone from a few years ago. Notice how the movie frame has a little blur on the moving areas, whereas my frame, while I'm going pretty fast down that road, is completely sharp. 
This is actually the secret to cinematic motion. The eye expects a little bit of blur to tie it all together and really give you the impression of smooth movement. One way to get nice footage like this is using something called shutter angle, which requires setting exposure manually. That can be pretty complicated, so Automotion is here to help. Kino will automatically optimize your exposure in automatic mode to get that nice cinematic motion. You don't have to fiddle with any settings and you don't have to compromise on image quality. Automotion is active when the auto label turns green. It cannot work reliably when in very bright light, like outdoor sunlit scenes. In those situations, to get the best results, we recommend using an external ND filter. Now, the best part is that if you pop one of these ND filters on your iPhone, you don't have to fiddle with any settings again. You just watch for auto to turn green and you're all set. Let's go over the last few features before we get a shot. This right here is the quick bar. A tap on it will expand Kino's actions. Let's go over them one by one. Settings. This one is self-explanatory. Opening settings lets you adjust all of Kino's settings. Import grades, view tutorials, get in touch with us, and more. The flip camera control. Kino works great with the selfie camera too. Level grid. If you know our other app, Halide, you might know and love this one. The leveling grid is a grid you can toggle to get your composition right, but will also highlight when you get your phone level. Stabilization. By default, Kino will use camera stabilization to reduce shakiness in your shot. You can tap this to turn that on or off. Stabilization is especially useful for longer lenses, like your 2x, 3x, or especially 5x telephoto lenses. RGB waveform. This one's for the pros. The waveform lets you check your exposure in a visual way. It plots the brightness levels of the green, red, and blue color channels. And finally, new in Kino 1.1, white balance. The white balance controls let you adjust if Kino should adjust your video white balance automatically or adjust it with a preset. Or you can even dial in the temperature entirely manually. From here, you can also lock white balance so it doesn't change once you start recording. We do do that by default. On the other side of the interface from the quick bar, you'll find our autofocus toggle. It's yellow, meaning that autofocus is on right now. If I tap that, it turns off and brings me into manual focus. Setting focus manually can be a great way to get a creative shot for intentionally blurry areas. You can also pull the focus while shooting to create emphasis. Tapping the MF button when you're in manual focus brings you right back to autofocus. One last thing before we start shooting. Up here are Kino's recording format presets. That sounds complicated, but we packed in three settings that are great for most. In this video, this shows the settings you get on an iPhone 15 Pro. Yours might be a little different, but it'll be similar. We have an entire article on picking the best settings, but for most users, Kino will already be on what's best for your iPhone right out of the box. If you do want to go beyond these, you can tap custom in the menu and set any recording format you like. All right, we got a tour of the app. Let's start taking our first video. I've already got my favorite grade selected. I'll turn on the grid so I can get the shot level and check my composition. Okay, this looks great. Let's do a little exposure adjustment. And I'm all set. Now I can tap to start recording just like this. Or I can swipe the record button off to the side to lock it. That way I won't accidentally end the recording and I don't have to be so careful when it comes to touching my phone. And cut, all set. Now, as you might've noticed, I actually recorded that without instant grade being turned on. So it's nice if I want the flexibility to pick a grade later after recording. So let's go apply one right now. Yeah, that looks great. I'm gonna apply that now so I can post the clip online. That concludes our tour. Thank you for sticking with me till the end. Now, there's a lot more features that I didn't get to cover today. Stuff like exposing your shot manually with shutter speed, angle, ISO, importing your LUTs, tons of other things. We have written some articles about on our website. So if you want some more resources, go check that out. 
We've got a big FAQ, several tutorials, and there's more being posted every week. In the meantime, I'd love to know what you thought about this video. Did you enjoy the format? Are there any other videos you'd like to see us make? Let us know in the comments. In the meantime, enjoy Kino, and see you later.